Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. So let's uh, add the required pods that we are going to install. I'm going to paste this and let me just zoom in so you can see this. We just say pod and then the name of the cocoa pod you want to install. And on the second line, you put the second cocoa pod and the third and the fourth, as many you have or as many you want. So we are using the Firebase core, which is the Firebase itself then the authentication and the Firestore, which is our online database. So once you have these three lines, which are minimum required for our project, click save. So we are saving the pod file, close it. Getting back to our terminal, I'm going to say pod install, hit enter. This will take some time to install all the required uh, libraries. And it's actually telling us which library it installed and these are the version of each specific libraries. Once it's done, it will tell you that um, it's finished installing. And then from now on, we are going to use a different uh, shortcut in order to get into our project. Remember before we had only this blue uh, icon of Xcode project. Now we have after installation of our CocoaPods, we have this white icon and it's an XC workspace, not XC, uh, Xcode project. So from now on, in order to open our application, we're going to use this uh, workspace. So double click on it and this will open our uh, project here. Let me just open it up. And I remember before we had only one blue area with our uh, application name here and now underneath we have a pods and if you click at the cocoa pod uh, the pod file you can see the inside of it and then uh, all the frameworks and dependencies that our uh, cocoa pods have installed for us so these are all uh, firebase things here we're not going to get into that folder or change anything all we need to do is just install them and make sure you have your Google service info P list on your project. All right, um, this just say command P in order to build after installing CocoaPods because there are a lot of new libraries and files added to the project and it will take some time to build your project. And once it's done and you have no errors, we are actually ready to start uh, coding our application. Let it build and uh, since it's working on it, what we are going to do is jump to our Firebase and first let's start from authentication. In order for us to use uh, authentication, we are going to say setup sign in methods. And here you can see all the different way uh, Firebase allows us to sign in our user, starting from anonymous and then we have email, phone, Google, play, uh, Game Center, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, Yahoo, Microsoft, and now as you can see, they have added uh, Apple as well. For our project, we are going to use uh, email password. So click on the pen here, just enable it, because by default, all the sign-in options are disabled. And once we enable our email and password, uh, we are ready uh, to go with our user authentication using email and password. And here under users tab, you can see all your users. Currently we have none. Then we move to our database part. And here I'm going to create a database under our uh, cloud Firestore. And then this asks me what kind of security rules I want to apply. The first one is uh, the production mode when your application is kind of ready and then your user for example has to be logged in in order to access the database to, ab to be able to read and write. The other one is called test mode. So basically what this says is allow read write if and then it gives you some 30 days. So within these 30 days 
anyone with the link can read and write to your database. So since our application is in test, I'm going to use this one. Just click next. And then you have to choose your uh, server location. Since I'm in Europe, I'm going to choose Europe if you whatever is closer to you, basically, so you have uh, less time connecting the to the server. Uh, they have two options here, uh, US uh, Central or Europe. So I'm going to choose Europe here and click done. This will uh, take a few seconds to set up the database as well. And we have already set our security rules which is basically in 30 days, everyone can uh, read or write to our database. Let's get back to our project here to see if we have any errors, which we have none. It says the build was successful. Okay, let's just wait a few seconds for our Firebase database to be ready, which, all right, it's done. And I can see there is nothing in our Firebase. And if you click on the rules, here you can edit your rules later on once your application is ready. You can change it like uh, whoever is logged in, they can access it. Right now it just uh, gives us 30 days to work on it. You can change the rules anytime, it's just easy. We're going to do at the end of the project, so don't worry about that. Um, database, we are going to do everything in code from our uh, front end which is our application and the database is going to be created for us by firebase another thing i want to show you is like you may if you are new to firebase you may ask question like where did you get this information from like how you say firebase.auth and not authentication etc if we go to firebase uh, since you are in your project or whenever anywhere in firebase there is a link here go to documentation and once you click it, there are different documentation for different platforms. Of course, we are working on iOS. So if you click on Get Started for iOS, you will see some information here on the first part uh, under iOS. So if you scroll down here, you will see how to create a Firebase project, how to register Firebase uh, account, etc. And what we are interested in if you just go a bit down and it says how to get the Firebase SDKs in your app, and then this will tell you step by step, which we have already done for Swift, for Objective-C, if you are using Objective-C, how to uh, get your uh, Firebase application up and running. And once you go down available pods, here you have all the different version of the pods you can install from Firebase. And you can see the list is quite long. And in our case, we are using the Firebase Firestore. Remember, we use this Firebase Authentication. We use this, and there is somewhere the Firebase, uh, the core of the Firebase. So if you scroll down, you may find it somewhere. Then, um, if you have any anything you need in uh, Firebase in order to get something working or a sample code. They have different things here, you can check it out. Always refer to the documentation whenever you are stuck or you need something new to do and you don't know how to do it. You just go to the documentation, uh, getting start part is good, um, or there are sample codes are good, or um, Firebase basically has very, very good documentation. You can find almost anything there, or just by searching the web how to do something on Firebase, Usually the Stack Overflow helps a lot um, or there will be a direct link to uh, Firebase documentation inside the Google search if you cannot find something by your own uh, search in the documentations. So once you um, have checked out the documentation as well, uh, the project is ready. We are going to go to App Delegate and here first we are going to import our Firebase. So basically we are going to set up our uh, Firebase so we can use it. So it say import and we say Firebase. And inside our did finish launching with options, I'm going to make some space here. And before return true, we're going to say Firebase app.configure. 
and this will configure our Firebase application and our project will be able to use the Firebase. This is the only line we're going to add here, which will allow us to use our Firebase in the, in the project.